Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Fat Buddha Fitness. I am Chester Monkey Magic, your host here on this, the most innovative of workout channels on the web. Now, what I'm going to do today is basically give you a challenge, but it's an enduring challenge. It's a seven week challenge, but this is the starter for this challenge. Each week I shall be updating on the progress that I'm making and hopefully you can do likewise. Basically what I saw on the internet on Amazon was some books that were called Seven Weeks Two and it was seven weeks to 50 pull-ups, seven weeks to 100 press-ups and seven weeks to 300 sit-ups and I thought rather than actually buying the book and reading it I wonder if I can get to those numbers just by my own methods and very simple ones at that. And it also occurred to me whilst giving you other workouts that when you do sets of a specific number of an exercise, say a set of 10, basically you do, you do the 10 and then you stop when in fact you would be capable of continuing for longer but mindful of the fact that it's an all over body workout perhaps, that you're working on your overall fitness you just do your 10 set, or your set of 10 rather, you go on to the next exercise and then you come back and you do more sets of the same exercises over and over again. But you're never pushing any one muscle group to its limit. And then what happens is your muscle group gets used to doing short bursts and therefore fairly low reps of something. And when you then try and do longer periods of that same exercise, you struggle. So. In this case, in this workout, what we're going to be doing is just maximum reps of whatever exercise it is that we choose. And the three we're going to choose are pull-ups, press-ups, and sit-ups. And so, week one, day one of the seven-week challenge is just simply to do the maximum number of pull-ups you can in one go before you just cannot do any more and you have to drop off the bar then the maximum number of press-ups you can do in one go, and then the maximum number of sit-ups you can do in one go. So I shall get us all started off on my bar. Now I've always been pretty rubbish at pull-ups. Uh, I don't know why, I can't understand it, but I just am. So this is gonna be the toughest challenge for me. We're gonna do overhand grip like this. Just about see my bar through there, rather than chin-ups with an underhand grip. And not a wide overhand grip, just a normal shoulder width overhand grip. Maximum numbers you can possibly do, just keep going until you cannot lift yourself anymore. Right, pitiful, 13. Like I said, I'm rubbish at those, but this is week one, day one. We start with 13. So in order to reach 50, basically, I'm gonna need to get to be able to do four times as many in one go. A long way to go. Give yourself a short break, not too long. And then we go into the press-ups. And with the press-ups, basically, you're not trying to basically you know, get the maximum number possible uh, to try and feel good about how many you can do. You need to concentrate on good form. The aim is to be able to do 100 proper press-ups. Therefore, make sure you get nice and low, 
lock out your arms at the top, don't go for speed, go for good form, good technique. So, everybody knows how to do a press up, hands shoulder width apart roughly, feet out behind, and off we go. Forty-one. So that was uh, not great again, but not too bad. Not as bad as the uh, pull-ups. Forty-one means I've got to be able to do two and a half times as many in total in seven weeks' time, as opposed to four times. So I'm a lot closer. So that's a bit better. Remember. Good technique, good form, get nice and low with the chest, and uh, you know, whatever types of press ups you do or push ups that you do, doesn't matter that much. Pick which ones you want to do. These are the ones I've always done throughout my life, that's why I chose these. I know some people bring their arms further back, elbows go backwards, and they push up using very much more the triceps. So, that's your style, you go for that. Anyway, that's part two. Part three, the final part, is the sit-up. So, the aim, 300. We know we're not going to get close to that this time, but we're going to do as many as we can. So, bring your knees up. Now, to sit up, either put your fingers on your temples or cross them across your chest. But, you've got to sit right up and then back down. Right up and back down. That's two, three, sometimes people block their feet under something uh, to try and stop themselves rocking but I find that that ends up making you use the thighs the quads and therefore you're not just focusing on the abs try and keep your feet on the ground that's 20 something soft to lie on, otherwise it can become a bit painful. Thirty, one tenth. Absolutely hopeless. 37. So there we have a really long way to go. Basically 37, I can't do the maths in my head but uh, it's about uh, an eighth more or less. What is that? 74 times 4, 280, 16, 296. Yeah, it's about an eighth of the way 
So, in order to make the 300, I'm going to have to be able to get to, in seven weeks, eight times as many. Now, the reason why I'm not very good at those is because I never do them. I do crunches, I do elbow to knee crunches, I do leg raises, reverse crunches, but I never do sit-ups. And that's why, basically, although I could probably do 100 crunches right now, I only got to 37 sit-ups. But, there we go, this is the beginning of the challenge. It's seven weeks to 50 pull-ups, 100 press-ups, and 300 sit-ups. Now, the important element, how are we gonna get to those numbers at the end of seven weeks? Well, my theory is this. Basically, week one, so you start on a Monday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you're going to do that exact routine that I've just demonstrated. You're going to do maximum number of each of the three exercises and you're going to do it every other day. Now that won't take you very long, so you can do this on top of other things. For example, I'm now about to go out and play tennis. Five, ten minutes of those little exercises doesn't stop me going and doing an activity that same day. So Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, on week one, you do the maximum number possible of each of the three exercises, and that's it. Preferably on a Saturday, not the Sunday, on a Saturday, you should do some sort of workout, and you've got a hundred to pick from on my website, that works your body. Basically a strength, muscle building, fat burning, chest, shoulders, abs, uh, back, workout, that will go on for a lot longer and be a lot tougher and also work in various other muscles that you're not working with these three exercises. Then from week two, we go back to Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but there you're gonna do two sets of each exercise instead of just the one. The same thing, a longer thing on the Saturday. Week three will be three sets, week four will be four sets. So by the time you get up to week six and seven, six, seven sets of those you'll really be putting in a much longer, much tougher workout. You won't be needing your Saturday workout to do something longer and more fat burning and more muscle building. So that's the theory. I've not even looked at these seven weeks books that are out there on the shelves. This is how I'm gonna do it and this is how I challenge you to do it with me, if indeed you wish to. So I'm Mr. Monkey Magic. This is Fat Butter Fitness. Ami Tuofo, I shall be checking in on the first day of each week, so weeks two, three, four, five, etc., to show you how I'm progressing, and hopefully you'll leave a message and let me know how you're getting along. Blah, 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 how you're getting along. Ami Tuofo.